Hey everybody, Ingress Cube here, and today we're going to be working on the carpet mount. This little guy right here, actually. To get it, you go to the sinking sands. Ooh, here we are, sinking sands. Docks, right over here. See, there's docks right there. And you talk to this guy right here, uh, what's his name? El Kazi, purveyor of fine carpets. If I remember correctly, it's a series of four short quests. And I think this was the first mount that they actually gave you as a quest reward when um, Desert of Flames went, went live. I certainly can't remember any other mounts that were like, given as quest rewards, and I do remember this place being pretty, um, pretty busy at the time. Let's see, you got shipment problems, blah, blah, blah. Once again, I can barely read. Although I did fix my eye last night temporarily. Apparently what's happened is my eye has changed shape, I guess. Because when I, when I apply a little bit of pressure to my eye, with both my eyes open, the two vi the two images they they realign and they superimpose on top of each other. But of course, it won't stay that way unless I keep pushing into my eye, which is stupid. So yay. Anyhow, this is what we gotta do. Talk to this guy and um, blah blah blah. Nearly one shipment and every ten gets stolen. Okay, it's a bad ratio. So what are you shipping? Carpets, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Top of the line flying carpets. Whoa. Who could even pretend to afford that? Blah, blah, blah. It's a limited market, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how can you possibly have a problem with brigands if you sell flying carpets? Why wouldn't I have a problem? Um, they fly, dumbass. Get on the carpet, fly to where you're going. Brigands can't get you. You can't fly carpets around. They've each got their own personality. You have to carefully ship them one at a time, and you can never ship one on top of another. Oh. Okay, well, that's interesting. Alright, so he needs us to help. So, level 50 quest. Like I said, this came out when um, Desert Flames did. And again, I believe this was the first mount that you got as a quest reward that you didn't actually have to go buy. Not counting drops or anything like that. Seven gold? Mm, that's not bad. Okay. Find one of the Rajarkian Highwaymen leaders and bury him in the desert sands. Okay, yeah. They're not difficult quests. The last part was the hardest part because you had to fight a genie. And he was a, a heroic fight and kind of tough at the time, but not anymore. So that shouldn't be a problem. The rest of the stuff is just running up into the desert, beating stuff up, that sort of thing. Where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. I can fly. Who needs a flying carpet when you've got a flying bluebird? Me! And by extension, you! So yeah, we're going over here somewhere. So this nice little patch of highlighted area. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's a dune digger. Well, that's the dune digger. Yeah, he's a named. Forgot about him. Oh, or, or it, I suppose. Whatever. And as we go up here, we'll probably run across Brug the Banis. He used to be an epic. He's not anymore. Now he's just a single up. He's a giant that roamed around here. He was an epic times two. Oh, there's our guy. On the Orc Highway. There we go. Uh, hate to break as you did, you are done. Alright, so now we just gotta go back and turn this in. And then he'll give us another quest to come out here and do something. And like I said, the final quest, the fourth and final quest, is to, well, maybe it's the fifth. Is it the fifth? Pretty sure there's only four. At any rate, the, the final quest in the series is to fight the genie master, and then after you do that, you get your own carpet. Yay! Not a shiny new carpet, you get a used one. Because, you know, he didn't get rich by being generous. So, yeah. 
and then you'll have your own little carpet mount that you can ignore because you've probably got better by now. I mean, nowadays you can just at level 25 go out to the butcher block, butcher block and uh, get yourself a, a leaper mount, which is far superior to just a simple ground mount. But hey, it's a magic carpet. Whee, 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 whee. What am I doing that for? I don't know. Because it makes sparklies and I like them. Ah, there you are. Okay, uh huh. Here's his medallion. Da -da -da. Next one's worth 13 gold. Hey, that's that's kind of nice. If it's a good enough payment, you might actually convince me to work for you again. I remember you. You're that guy. Uh huh. Your memory is superseded only by your wit. What a wonderful compliment. All right, so what are you doing here? Uh-huh. Trade's been better already. That's cool. So how about you, uh, you know, give me a share of that fortune. And he's like, yeah, screw you, chicken fucker. I'm like, okay, um, why don't I give you a back rub, a nice house, and 50 gallons of water while I'm at it? Well, you know, actually, that's not bad. Yeah, sure enough. I can use a back rub right now. My shoulder's been bothering me all week. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, yeah, this is the one where you go out looking for components for the carpets. <laughs> Can't they just weave themselves? Don't you worry that I can make them? Of course not. He's leaving out some of the. Oh, you get status for some here. He's leaving out some of the ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. Dune tarantula silk. They die from the shores of the dead tier. These dune tarantulas are over here. Here's where you get the, the wisp of air from the highest dune. We need over here. Perfectly shaped chitinous needle. From the, oh, Banish Titan, the giant. Yeah, I gotta kill the giants. And then here's the dead tier right there. And then what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, Serpent of the God King. Forgot about that one. Oh, that was a pain in the ass, too. Uh oh. That reminds me of Cat. Catapult used to do the time warp all the time. Hello, Dune Tarantula. That's one. Oh, wait a minute, you know, this will go faster if I bring out what's his name. Hey, Dinva. While I'm here, why don't you start training? Alright, let's do this. Much faster. I have a scythe. Damn it. Scythe is named. Not a tarantula. Killing him was meaningless. Now it's for all time's sake. Whoops. In, one more. Burn. Burn so softly. Yes. Okay, now we need to get the air, which is. What was the air again? Okay, I'm going the right way. Yeah, it's right by her. You gotta. You gotta find the spot to grab. I recall the mouse will change to a hand. Maybe.
Did I overshoot it? I think I might have overshot it. Yep, I overshot it. There he is. Shut over here. Okay, now we need. Let's get the die while we're over here. Not to be confused with the shard of Lucklin. Or Luckin, or whatever it's called. The moon. Hmm. I finally did figure out what the hell that black stuff I was coughing up was. Turns out, it's a side effect of Pepto-Bismol. The bismuth in it will react to bits of sulfur in your blood and it turns into this little black substance that's supposedly harmless, but it's not pretty. And you might end up coughing up black stuff for a couple of days. And I was like, ooh. Okay, where's that bit of dye at? I don't remember. Is it over here? exotic plant. It is. It's the exotic plant. So you're looking for an exotic plant on the on this little island thing here. So now what do we need? Something else. Oh, that's right. Servants of the God King. So you're now looking for the little specter dudes over here. They float around the edge up here. Get that out of here. Oh, there's one. A sentinel of a nook. The nook being the God King, if you didn't already know. Yeah, see, this is what makes this part a pain in the ass. You did not find any quest items. And I usually don't have very good luck on this part. It takes me a while to, to get the kill. That gives me the credit. Oh! And then it decides to spite me, just because it can, so yay! Joke's on you, game. I was tricking you. Reverse psychology. Alright, so now we need the needle and the banished titan. So we'll just go over here. Yeah! Needle over here. Oh, yeah, right. It's from the scorpion things, as I recall. What was the third step? I don't remember the third step. We had to take down the highwaymen, then we had to go gather these pieces, our components. Yay! Oh, hello. It's a brood major. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's named Scorpion there, obviously. All right, let's go find a banished titan. Let's have this dune here. Okay, cool. Oh, there's one set for stun. Oh, look, another one of those not automatic updates. It's okay, we can do this. We have powers. Where's Brug? Is that Brug? Yep, that's Brug. He's got to use being epic. Maybe he's an epic again. Nope, he's not. Oh, he's a double up now. Target that guy. There we go. Oosh. 
skin, Nimba. Ooh. Trinity's Adventures Abroad page, whatever the fuck. Nope, he does not have a lot of target on him, damn it. Wasn't he one of my first? Not the first, but he was one of my first um, pickup raids. Can't remember who it was I, I went on the raid with. He was probably just some random people that I was creeping with at the time, but we took him on, kicked his ass, it was cool. And then we just started looking for other raid mobs in the area. And as I recall, Tarantula destroyed us. Oops. There's one. Get him. Ha ha. Okay, now we go back to El Kazi and be like, hey, here's your stuff. And then he'll give us our next quest, which I can't remember. And then we have to go take down the Gin Master. And that's what that little carpet next to him is all about. You ride that out to the gym master. Half of those items I'm going to use, and half are getting thrown away. You really are new here, aren't you? If I don't give you the whole list, then you won't know what I really need. Here, why don't you take some coin and run away? Okay. What's the next step? He didn't stiff me. He was like, like he said, he paid me. It's not like you performed a resurrection for my dead child, but you like me to? Uh, you, you can't, you're a conjurer, not a necro. Just, yeah, just point that out. Okay, be careful, they're trying to trick you here if you want to click the bottom one. This is one where I have to go to Magic Duel and kill somebody. Okay, we're going to Magic Duel to deliver a message and kill somebody. Spoilers. We're going to kill somebody. Yeah, this step actually could be kind of tricky because if you weren't paying attention to your surroundings, that could get you killed. Because the police will attack you and Master Wolf will catch you killing someone. Okay, that's cool, there it is. And of course, if you haven't been working on your factions, then some of the guards will be hostile to you. Possibly all the guards. So it's always a good idea to check the towers when you first get here. Okay, the blades are ascended in those two towers. That's the police right there, the Shire. Don't don't uh, deliver the message in the presence of the Shire. Blades, blades, blades. Okay, so at least three of the four towers are blades. One of them is truth, it looks like there's... Yeah, truth. More blades. Well, great. If tower here, I'd be set because Tal's friendly with the blades. Blades, not braids. All right. Now, can I remember where to find this guy? I think he was down in the main area, down by the Court of Coins um, headquarters. It's General 
the bar. There's Baraka there, okay. The blades. I like the blades. I like the good guys. Okay, here's the dude. Notice he's got a kill icon next to him. Check this guy. Is any Shay you're running around? Oh, there's one right there. And there's... There's Truth. And there's the Shay here. He also opens up with Ice Comet, so be warned. That's the, that's the part I forgot. So not only do you have to watch out for a Shair, where would he go? Well, Shair, wherever they, there he is. Yeah, you especially don't want to talk to him when the Shair's right there. Because then he'll come right down and kick your ass. But the guy opens up with Ice Comet, which is not a pleasant thing to have happen to you when you're level 50. Remember the first time I did that quest, I was helping someone, and it one-shotted him. Just pow. Guy was dead. And I was like, whoops. But the next time we were ready, I jumped in and I interrupted him before he could finish casting, and then we killed him, and then the shayer started to wander over, and we bailed. Wait a minute. I went down the wrong path. Here we go. Okay, now we can go deal with the Jin Master. Fun times ahead. Hey, this is the desert music from Ragnarok Online. Appropriately enough, we're in the desert, so yay. It's my old stomping grounds. I used to hang out in the desert and just beat up on Peko Pecos. Or ants, because Ant Hell is right there, so. I just kind of run around the area, just beat up the peco pecos, look for the ants, beat them up, hope that I didn't get swarmed and annihilated. That was also the first time I ever soloed an MVP. The queen ant was up. And I whooped her ass. I was like, whoa! I did it! I didn't actually set out to do it. I was just like, minding my own business, and I went around the corner, and there she was! Whap! I'm like, oh my god! And I killed her. I went into protector mode because there was a, a low level player there and I had to protect them. It's just the thing I do. Don't play coy, you know exactly what he thought. You called him a liar, a cheat, and a thief. How vulgar. I did no such thing. I called him a low down conniving reprobate. There's quite a big difference. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to gather the spirit of the gym. Just any gin? No. The spirit of Abzeri. And then you get the carpet of El Kazi. Alright. Are you ready? I shall send you off at once. I'm ready. He didn't send me off. He used to actually send you off. But now we've got a carpet here that we can ride. 
in case he kills you, you can just come back to the carpet. The carpet takes you out um, here somewhere. Oh no, here it is. Oh, that was one of these islands. Now, like I said, this used to be tough, but not so much anymore. Of course, the level cap was 60 back then, so you know you you couldn't stack the deck all that much up in your favor. Okay, there. Oh wow, he's actually aggro to me. Level 57. He does have helpers. They're somewhere up there. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna open up with an AOE. And another AOE. Here they come. Come get some. Boosh. And with that, we can go back and report our success. I want to say that there was a carpet that took you back, but I don't see it. Or maybe it's down here. I don't remember where it went. What was that? Aha! You have something that I may or may not need. You know, it's just coin, damn it. I was hoping for a lore piece. Okay, am I blind or is there no carpet? I think they might have taken away the carpet. I don't see the carpet. I could have swore there used to be a carpet that would take you right back to him. Why am I even wasting my time with this? I can just fly. Because I'm a jackass. Alright, let's do this. As I said, it used to be tough, not so much anymore, but you know what? It's okay. Because I have Lee and he doesn't have. And we're just gonna fly a little bird. Do to do. Do to do. Do to do. seem to have some kind of air bubble caught in my chest. It's annoying me. But then again, my lungs always annoy me because they suck. I think I need to get a transplant. I got some plastic bags over there. Maybe I can rig up some kind of pump mechanism. Where's the H key? There it is. Alright. He wasn't so pathetic when I fought him. Yeah, it was actually. They said used carpet. See, I warned you it was going to be used carpet. Carpet of El Kazi. Placed in your mount window. Mount. Mount, mount, carpet of El Kazi. Yeah, let's turn this off. Turn this on. Oh wait, I forgot. Let's actually set the options properly. Show always. There we go. Behold, the carpet of Elkazi. See, it's almost this little guy. This one's got some red on it. So apparently I applied some Visine because it gets the red out. Get it? Ha ha ha. So yeah, that's how you get the carpet. Like I said, I believe that was the first mount reward for a quest. I do not recall getting a reward prior to this quest. In fact, I think this might have been my first mount. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But um, let's turn this back off. Show never, because I don't like ground mounts. 
This one's okay because it doesn't take up like half the screen. Like a giant slobbery wolf. But why would I want that on when I can have this one? Whoops. Didn't I just click that? There it goes. Alright. So thanks for watching everyone and I will catch you next time. Don't know where, but it'll be somewhere I'm sure. Although, just to be warned, my health has been kind of bouncy bouncy lately. So, um, I'm filming this one a couple of days early just to be safe because I'm actually feeling kind of good today, but I wasn't feeling all that great about mm, two or three hours ago. So, I will see you next time, maybe. So, peace out everyone. Laters. Oh, and Merry Christmas.